Hello, and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now, today, we're going to be going over Blender fluids. Now, before we get started, a little bit of self promotion. Um, don't forget to go to form.nistic.com, where in the Blender uh, 3D category or 3D graphics, you can. Uh, ask questions about Blender and get them answered pretty quickly um, so that's a real neat place to check out if you have any questions or you just want to show your renders off to people also I'm rel releasing a Blender DVD it's going to be two to three hours long 20 bucks and it's on making a character in Blender so if you like these tutorials it's going to be way better so just give, send me a message on YouTube or on Nistic if you're interested. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're on YouTube so you don't miss any of the new cool tutorials coming out. So let's go ahead and get started on uh, fluids in Blender. I have Blender opened up already down here. And we have our default cube, which we're actually going to use today. So first thing I'm going to do with the default cube selected is hit S and then three and then enter and I decide mm, that's a little too small so we'll make it a bit bigger I uh, hit the S key of course and then we're gonna hit Z key to go into wireframe mode so everything will go a little bit quicker and we can see everything then I'm gonna hit space add mesh cube hit tab to go out of uh, edit mode into object mode hit the S key make it just a bit smaller and there we go so I'm going to select the outer uh, cube here and we're going to go down to the object button you can also hit F7 then the physics button and then uh, fluid simulation enable now in our other tutorials we've uh, gone over fields and deflections, particles, soft bodies, but uh, now we finally get to fluid simulation. Now, what we want to do here is click domain, and that's it for now. And so we're going to select the middle cube and go down here and enable, and then we're going to hit fluid. So I'm going to do a free rotate with alt left mouse button and dragging and you can see we have a big cube and then a small cube inside of it so uh, basically with the f big cube out here we made it a domain or it's basically like the container which contains the fluid so the bottom of the domain uh, dictates as the floor, the top, the ceiling, and the sides, the walls, and then the fluid is basically the fluid that kind of just drops down from that particular position and can hit things like obstacles, inflows, outflows, or particles. It, c it can interact with all those different things within the domain, and it can also hit the uh, domains, ceilings, and walls, and floors, and also interact with them. So, we're just doing the domain and fluid for this tutorial. The other ones get a little bit more complex. But, the first thing we're going to do here now, we're going to go back to the big cube, and we're going to hit bake. And baking is basically processing, almost like uh, rendering. Uh, it takes a little bit of a while depending on your computer. If you have a fast computer, obviously, uh, it's going to go very fast and everything's going to uh, bake or quote unquote process uh, really fast. But if you have a slower computer, obviously, it's going to take a bit of time uh, for the fluid to interact with the environment and bake. So. Now we have the fluid, uh, you can kind of see the fluid interacting frame by frame, hitting the floor, kind of dispersing and 
uh, going away here. So I just hit the escape key because I didn't want to wait for it to uh, render out or bake till 250 frames, uh, which is the default. So if I hit the right arrow key, I can see the animation of the little blob of water, I guess you could call it, uh, hitting the domain and the disper dispersing right there. So it hits it, disperses, and kind of evaporates away. So, uh, before we end this tutorial, I think we should make put a little box around this so that we can see it in our render a little bit better. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move out a bunch of frames. I'm just hitting the right arrow till we get to what looks like a little box back here. And hit Shift D. That's duplicating. Then we're going to uh, disable or just click the enable button that it'll disable it um, to basically have another cube here that will act as kind of a, a room or something that we can see that the fluid actually crashes into. And so we're going to go to edit mode, faces, and we're going to select these three faces in front here. And then we're going to go back into object mode. And so now, when we hit the left um, arrow, you can kind of see it like look like it splashes into that bottom floor there. And if I was to hit the Z key, you can see the fluid uh, on that floor there. And we can also uh, make some improvements to this, like going into the editing uh, button here and setting the smooth so it looks a little bit better uh, than it did. And we want to make this solid. Uh, they were both selected at the same time, so they both went smooth. So before we end this tutorial, I'm going to just show you what it would look like. Um, I'm going to go to the Scene tab and make the render 50% smaller than the default size of 800 by 600 here. Go up to Render, Render Current Frame, and let this render here. And if you haven't checked out uh, making gla the Making Glass tutorial yet, I suggest you do that because you can kind of uh, change the glass and uh, make it kind of look more like water when it's kind of mushed up like this in a fluid. So uh, if you haven't looked at that yet, I suggest you uh, look up making Super 3 Boys Making Glass tutorial and basically put this that uh, material on this fluid here and it'll look more like water. So, I hope you learn a little bit about fluids here, uh, how to use them, and there's a lot uh, more things you can do with fluids. This is just the basics of how to actually get a fluid to drop from a cube and hit the domain, but there's a lot more, and I suggest, uh, if you're already on YouTube, just uh, search for Blender Fluid Animations, and you'll see some cool stuff. So, that's it for this tutorial. Have fun with fluids!